Hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome to my channel for the love of. If you're joining for the first time, I want to say welcome. Thanks for taking the time to click on this Bath and Body Works candle review. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, as always, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick review of Let's Get Excited, which is Marshmallow Fluff. This is one of the new candles from Bath and Body Works for the spring slash Easter 2021 season. They did have a handful of other candles in this collection. Um, if I have pictures of them, I'll pop them up on the screen here. To the best of my knowledge, I saw three. At least I know there's three circulating. There's the one I have right here, the Let's Get Excited, which of course is Marshmallow Fluff. They also had a carrot cake, which I am so bummed the location I went to did not have. And then they also had a jelly bean one. Um, I did smell that one in store, a little too sweet for my taste. Um, so obviously I grabbed the marshmallow fluff. I love a good vanilla, a good bakery yummy scent, um, which is obviously why I opted for this one. Had they had carrot cake though, I don't know you guys, it would have been a toss up. I, I may have been I may have been trying the carrot cake one. Um, if I'm able to get my hands on the carrot cake, I will absolutely get it. I would love to try that one. I'd love to do a review on that one. So stay tuned. I may wind up grabbing that one as well. But today we're going to be reviewing Let's Get Excited. Darling packaging on this candle before I dive into the actual review. Cute little wraparound, little spring chickies. And then one other detail I noticed. I mentioned this on Instagram. But look at how cute, I have a little bit of wax on there, but look at how cute the lid is. It's got a little bunny nose with cute little whiskers. Would have been cute if this was in white as well, if they had white lids and black lids. I feel like if you had the white, you probably would have been able to see the cute little, little bunny a little bit more. Um, but regardless, very cute details as always from Bath & Body Works. And you clicked on this video to see a review. So without further ado, let's jump into the review. I'll kick it off with the scent notes as I always do. So the scent notes for Marshmallow Fluff include Marshmallow, Sweet Cream, and Vanilla. Bella, what are you doing? If you guys hear scratching noises, Bella has burrowed into the couch. She's making a little, a little hammock for herself. So if you hear scratching, that's the cat. I actually had to put up those couch corner covers on the corner of the couch because she was getting a little out of control with her with her claws anyways if you hear noises that's the cat it's mid-morning so she's like all hyper and running around maybe you guys will get a rare appearance of bella in the background um so those are the notes for marshmallow fluff what do i get from this candle on cold it just smells like a really good yummy vanilla fragrance honestly to me it's similar um, not exactly the same, but very, very similar to like their vanilla bean. It's got that vanilla type fragrance, kind of that creaminess. Um, this does have more of a marshmallow note though. Like I get marshmallow fluff. I just get like a fluffy marshmallow fragrance. Um, plus coupled with maybe a vanilla bean type action. They're saying in the notes there's marshmallow fluff. Yes, I absolutely get that. They're saying there's like a cream. Yes, I get like a creamy vanilla. It just smells like if you opened a can of marshmallow fluff, kind of smells like that, maybe with a little bit more vanilla. I just felt it'd be very versatile. Um, the one thing though, the downfall is the performance. So um, <laughs> after burning this candle, it is just very, very light, you guys. It's, um, I was a little worried because vanilla bean can sometimes be a little bit lighter of a scent. Um, sometimes vanilla scents, as good as they are, they tend to be a little bit lighter. To me, um, I'm sitting right in front of this candle. I obviously have it lit. I'm really not smelling anything. Um, I did try this in an open room. Um, this is a third burn on it. Had it in an open room, totally got lost. Really could not smell it at all. Wound up moving it into the half bath, um, which is where I test a lot of my candles. If they're a little bit lighter, I try them out in there in more of a controlled environment. Um, and it it was still lost. It just was not that noticeable. Um, so kind of a bummer. I really liked the scent. Those of you who were interested in this one and are looking for like a really strong, just ooey gooey, strong, marshmallowy type fragrance, Sad to say that this one just did not throw for me. In an open room, one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest, this is probably like a three or four. Uh, in a smaller room, throw wise one to 10, probably like a four and a half, maybe five. Um, you could probably maybe get away with melting this if you have like a candle plate warmer or um, a candle lamp. 
maybe it would fare a little bit better. So this is definitely not a repurchase for me. Don't know if there's batch variances floating around with this one. Maybe some of you have gotten a good throw out of it. I, I definitely did not. Um, I'm still even on the fence of whether or not I'm going to keep this one just because it's that light. I just really can't smell it. So if you guys have used, let's get excited. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if it threw for you. If you've tried any of the new Easter candles from this collection, if you've tried the carrot cake one, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Leave it in the comments below. Before I sign off, I do also want to mention that I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, vendor wax, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. That's it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later.